everybody, welcome back to some more, uh, some more Mountain Blade Warband. Warband! This is Bannerlord. I'm just so used to saying Warband from all those years of Warband. Um, I think we're ready to just keep continuing, right? I highlighted this. That's correct. You did highlight that message. Sorry, I just want to double check. It does have frame limiter on 60, right? Yes, okay. Just making sure. Okay, we're really hurt. Yeah, we need to heal. Now, we were in the middle of using the borrowed troops thing, right? We need to upgrade 10 of these dudes. I kind of don't want to upgrade them early because it costs me money. Then again, they're less likely to die if I upgrade them early because they'd be better at combat, right? Oh, there's a tournament and I can't join it because I'm too hurt. Damn. What's my health? What's the lowest my health can be in it lets me join a tournament? can't join at 15. I think it's about to become too late at night. Yeah, tournament's gonna close. Damn. All right. Can I get something in the next morning? Yay, there's another tournament. Okay, let's see if we can win a tournament at 32% health. Wasn't it uh, last time we won that really cool armor with almost no health? Okay, so there's a sword on the line. It says weapon tier 1, but we've learned before that um, in recent patches, this is sometimes just wrong. So it might actually be better than that. We'll see. Uh, so what team are we on? We're on green team. It might be an okay team. Let's see. Oh, I'm on horseback with a bow. Oh, everyone's on horseback. This is going to be chaos. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> And, this is going to be my Windows noise again, not you. I forgot if I have the controller plugged in while I play this game, it starts rumbling on the desk. Oh, I'm not winning this, am I? Oh my god, I got him right in the back of the head. Okay, maybe. I think I got another headshot there. Holy shit. Nope, nope. Okay. No, nah, that's not happening. Ugh. Oh, no, that's my guy. Okay. Jesus, this is a stressful fight. Ah. It looks like our guys are winning, though. I'm running low on arrows. There we go. That was Willow Bark. No, no, get away from me. I Get, get, get away from me. Get away from me. That's totally, yeah, that's, uh, ah, Jesus, that gut rag. I got hit by something. I've got almost no health. Ah! All right. In fairness, was there any chance I was going to win that? I'm not convinced. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, your team is disqualified. I lose. Well... I can't be too heartbroken. I came in pretty wounded, you know? All right, let's, uh... Let's... Okay, does anyone remember how much we paid for this oil, like, weeks ago? Does anybody remember how much money we need to make off that oil to make a net profit? One thousand five hundred. Okay, got a point of stewardship there. We got an easy stewardship. I'm gonna sleep here one more night because we are pretty hurt. What's the time limit on our quest again? Uh, we have fourteen more days to train the troops. Okay, that's plenty. I hope. Ooh. Sorry, my uh, neck is bothering me. I know I've been saying that a lot recently, but my neck is killing me. <laughs> I'm in the process of correcting it, so... It's sore for quite a while while you do that, you know? Because it's being forced back into place slowly over time as you fix your posture. Okay, what are they selling here right now? Is there anything here worth buying? Uh... Oil. <laughs> 
fur, okay. It's a little cheaper here. I can sell it at McKeb. Isn't McKeb nearby? But the game has lied to me about that so much. McKeb is right there. Okay. We're going on the honor system here. The fur says we, that we can sell it for 20 more apiece in McKeb. So we're going to buy enough. Not all of it. Just enough that the price goes up to 90 from 80. So we should easily make a profit on this, right? You would hope. How much you in a bet we don't. Okay, we're going up to McKeb. We should be making more than enough money back. Do you think the game will be fully released? I'm playing it right now. I don't, I don't think I understand the question. It's released. I'm playing it right now on Steam. You can just go buy it. That's a confusing question. Um, all right. Fucking course. Oh, Fucking course. Of course it was wrong. Of course. No, fur is worth like nothing here. The trade rumor was wrong. Oh my god, it's way cheaper here than it was at the previous place. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, that system is so frustrating. They gotta change that one day. It doesn't work. <laughs> They, uh, I don't want to get outnumbered. Um, I guess I'll go over here and hope it sells for enough? Come on, man. Alright, can we make some money somewhere? Hold on, what do the villagers sell? That's not... Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. Will these people buy it? The fur had a picture of a shield for a second. And no, it's worth even less here. Every place I check, it's worth even less. Yeah, check a, check a town that... I'm guessing you mean like a city. That doesn't have villages that provide fur. Yeah. The thing is, the trade rumors just seem to lie a lot. Okay, so this this one has a village that produces flax and cotton. And that's it. Those are the only ones of this that are around. It only produces flax and cotton, and yet the fur is worth almost nothing here. Do you see why the trade system can be very confusing sometimes? It's, uh... They only have two fur. You'd think they'd, be a, they'd buy it at a high price. But they don't. And I have no idea why. <laughs> so they have a fur shortage, and they don't produce any fur naturally, but they won't buy my, my fur for anywhere near a decent price. I have a trade rumor for you. There's a city in the middle of the ocean. They need oil. Yes, let's... We need to start tying our horses together with rope and, like, four to the ocean like it's a raft, you know? I guess they don't need the fur, yeah? I guess they just don't care about fur? I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, what do my other trade rumors say here? I don't even have trade rumors there anymore. God damn. Uh, did you play Guild Three recently? Sorry, you did the Roman numerals, and so it's nearly illegible at this distance. Uh, no, I haven't played it in ages, because every time I check up on it, it sucks. Which is a shame, because the Guild 2 was really good. I've given the Guild 3, like, four years now. They've changed developers, and they started developing rapidly, but it's still not good. Because the foundation of the game is so non-functional, they had to rewrite the whole thing. Okay, how about this place? Are they willing to buy it? It's still at a loss. I could get my money back, basically. <sighs> See, that's the thing. Is like... 
So some people are saying maybe they don't need the fur because they have cotton for clothing. That makes sense, definitely. But it's also why you can't just look at the, the local resources that, like, they produce and instantly know what they're willing to buy at a high price. You never really know until you go there, in my experience. I think that the trade system probably needs a little bit of reworking as a result. Like, here it says that we can buy them at those different places for those different prices. But we don't know anywhere that we can sell it for at a reasonable price right now. Do you know about the sunk cost fallacy? Try to sell it at the best uh, um, possible price and stop caring. That's not how the video game works, though. In fact, we've gone over this multiple times. Because of the... Um... So let's go into our, our menu here, right? Sunk cost fallacy doesn't make sense in a video game like this, where there inevitably will always be a village in which it is worth more. Um, this isn't real life. That's how the economy in real life works, sunk cost fallacy. You could hold on to this thing forever and it might not ever become valuable. In the video game, though, because of the way this is made, where the prices fluctuate and it's only a set of, like, there's, like, 50 goods in the game, it is literally impossible for me to not make a profit if I just walk around a little bit and sell the goods whenever I need. I don't need the money right now. Uh, it doesn't make sense to go dumping it and then lose some money when I don't have any reason to do that. Do you know what I mean? Does trade skill determine rumor accuracy? I think it might, but it doesn't tell you that it does. All it tells you is the trade penalty is reduced, which is a straight um, money-based change. The other reason why you wouldn't want to dump all of your goods right away, um, or rather you wouldn't want to dump bit by bit, or dump it at not a profit just to get your money back unless you really need the money. The reason why you wouldn't do that is because the way that the game calculates experience on trade, at least right now, unless they've changed it, they could patch it at any time, and I hope they do, is it literally just gives you experience points on the single transaction for a, a, whatever amount of profit you got above zero. So if you were to sell it in two different shipments at two different places, even if the net profit is above what you paid for, you wouldn't get any experience for that. And so you're not just doing this for the money, you're also doing it for the experience points. So yeah. When do you think the game will be fully updated and out of release or early access? I have no idea. Will you get experience in roguery if you start betting on tournaments? I don't think you get um, roguery for betting on tournaments, but it's possible. Um, I haven't, so I wouldn't know. I don't know for sure on that. Best transaction is to buy clay at Peck Conic and sell it at 8 to 11. They sell 8 to 11. You can sell it in Sargot in about tw for about 20. If they sell in big enough bulk, that could be worth it, definitely. Don't get roguery experience from betting unless they change it uh, recently. Got it. Okay. Uh, pretty sure the trade system is based off geographical nuance or importance. That is true. Um, certain areas produce more of certain things than other things. Um... That that just scrolled off screen, but I think I got the gist of that, which is, yeah, basically uh, different areas of the game are far more likely to have an abundance of different resources and a need for other resources. So furs are probably more common in the east, just like how wood and iron tends to be more common in the west, you know? Uh, there There's eccentricities to it, but generally that seems to be accurate. Okay, what do I want here for one-handed? Shield bashes do more damage and stun the enemy for longer. Stun the enemy for longer sounds good. And then deflect blocks with, um... Oh, hey, they actually changed this trait. This used to be a very boring, slight damage upgrade. No wonder I can... I've been given the point back. Okay. Blocks will make, uh... Made with one-handed weapons are 50% stronger against crush throws? Throughs? That's weird. I'm gonna take basher, though. Uh, shield bashing is quite nice. Oh, thanks for checking out the streams. I appreciate it. Anyway. Um, yeah, I don't need to be told, like, go here and buy this thing and sell it more at that. I kind of want to just figure it out myself, you know? I just want to know the rules of the game, to which I generally understand them, it seems. It's just the rules don't... They're not very good. It, it needs refining, but that's the thing. is The game is early access. It gets patched literally every single day. And so I'm not too worried about the... Um, 
trade system being a little bit weird right now because it'll probably just get fixed. Are they faster than me? No, on Flatland we're faster. How long are you streaming? I don't know. Uh, probably not super long, like another hour. Because I got a lot of stuff to do today. Okay. Backs to each other! That was a misclick. <laughs> right. That's what I wanted to do. I just want to circle strafe these dudes a bit. Oh, that was a headshot. That was beautiful. I was at high speed there. Oh, come on. I fired it right into the crowd and got no one. Oh, that's the worst. Oh, my God. That was an accidental hit. That was great. It's very satisfying when... Uh, uh... Uh, I don't know what I got stuck on there. It's very satisfying when you kind of do a bit of a Hail Mary shot and get a headshot, you know? I love that. It's the little things that are rewarding in this game. Like when, like how I missed that shot and totally hit someone in the back. What are the best uh, colors for me to read in the chat? Oh, I can read all of them just fine because... Um, I have readable color mode turned on for the chat that I'm actually looking at. The one on screen, though, some are definitely harder to read than others, but I'm not reading that one. Did I just hit that tree and do a U-turn? Is that new? That was weird. Oh, my horse is really hurt. It's pretty rare that my horse gets beaten up like this. I guess I'm playing a little bit reckless. Riding skill's getting good. I think it's 75 we get another perk, right? We're real close to that. Don't remember what we get at it, though. There we go. Ah! Come on, I only have four arrows left. I can't go wasting them all. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not happening. Okay. Oh, get away from me. Uh, I could just lead them back to my guys at this point. I don't want to risk uh, wounding my horse. Sometimes when it runs out of health, it can get wounded. There we go. Thin the herd. Oh, last one. Beautiful. When will the next Pokemon challenge be out? Uh, every- I, I say it at the end of every single Pokemon challenge, but I do a Pokemon challenge every Saturday. I have for almost a full year now. Okay, looters, I'll take them prisoner. Peasants, I'm not gonna take them. I don't want to burden my- my group too much right now. Got some food, though, which is always nice. We definitely need food variety whenever we can get it. Alright, let's go down there. We're a little bit beaten up, so I kind of don't want to pick a bunch of fights at the moment. So many looters in this area. Maybe I should be hanging out here more. What's my favorite video game song? I have no idea. 